First, thank you to EA Game Changers for giving me a look at the upcoming patch. Because not everyone cares about The Sims 4 eco lifestyle, let's look at what will be coming in the patch that releases a few days ahead of that pack. First, two new NPCs will be returning to the franchise, the Fireman and Repo Man. If your sim has a fire alarm on the lot, firemen may come and visit when a fire breaks out. It's basically the neighbors from Suwanee just in uniform. Get behind on bills and your stuff is eventually going to be taken by a Repo Man. We don't yet have footage of this second NPC, but it's good they're finally coming back. You can prevent the fireman ever coming in the first place by building with fire resistant materials. Breaking news, but metal is less likely to burn than wood. And build mode now shows this and environment boosts for certain materials. So you have some stats on the house itself now. I am happy to report this is something you can disable in the game options if you don't want it. I assume it could be beneficial to do that if you're going for a certain look and building with lots of wood. I'd just make salad until level 3 cooking. What would firemen be without ladders? Actually, truth is those topics are completely unrelated, but ladders are coming and if you pay attention, you likely know that, you insider you. There are two types of ladders children and up can use, though if you have a toddler that can climb stairs or a sim is holding one, they will know to route upstairs if there is a viable route for them to take. If the latter is the shortest route, capable sims will take that. Babies are, well, you know how babies are. Speaking of bills, the bill system is getting an overhaul ahead of the new eco lifestyle pack because of its green energy and water sources. Your sims household will now have a slightly lower base bill, but using utilities will increase bills in those two categories, power and water. So I guess having five TVs and leaving them on will actually cause you to pay more. Finally, something to do with large sums of money, right? All right, if you do get the Eco Lifestyle Pack, that pack will support selling back excess energy to the local utility company. Next up is Off The Grid. There are significant upgrades to the Off The Grid system, though it feels more impactful with Eco Lifestyle. Base game players will now find a nice off the grid section in build mode, which will show items that work with that lot trait. Also, there is now water collection and maybe some means of collecting power for base game players. I want to be clear. They said this stuff doesn't require eco lifestyle, but I feel like I could accidentally lump something in there that doesn't belong. You're supposed to be able to gather water at fishing spots or from weightable water like in Solani. This will let you use items that require water, or you can upgrade objects to work with off the grid. If you have a surplus of water or power, you can use regular interactions on the object, but if you're low on those or have none, objects may stop functioning. Other objects may have special low resource usage interactions. I'm not 100% sure yet what that means. I don't want to mislead anyone here and say you're getting X or Y when... I feel like it's not clear enough. I think this is something that deserves its own guide when the time comes, so I will definitely do that during Eco Lifestyle coverage. Because of the need to update maps for Eco Lifestyle, like whether or not a neighborhood is industrial or green, they went back and added map tags to all the neighborhoods you can live in. Builders will enjoy this one. You'll now be able to hold alt and drag doors and windows like other items, so they don't need to snap into place like they used to. This will let you fine tune their placement. Now, what should be people's favorite feature, but probably won't be because people are talking about NPCs they will never see. A major quality of life improvement for Sims 4 in that the inventory system has finally got a rework. You will no longer have to sell items one at a time, my friends. You can click multiple items and highlight them and sell them all at once. You will still have to click yes, like some kind of barbarian mouse only user, they didn't want to make it too modern or you might start asking questions. But this great feature makes Sims feel like a game from 2006 at last with proper inventory management, allowing you to sort your inventory with the best of them. Want to see only fruit? Great. Want to see only collectibles? Great. Want to see only flowers? Want to see only high quality flowers? You got it. This is a great step in the right direction, especially for Sims 4 players like myself who hoard everything and don't bother selling things because they don't pay you enough to. You know that it requires you to sell 415 Somalian frogs to make one 6,000 Somalian painting? Yeah, 
The next step for this feature is to stop asking if you want to sell X or Y because honestly, there is nothing so irreplaceable in this game that you would care if you accidentally sold it. It should not ask at all, ever. If there's one feature I feel like it helped them improve, it's this one. It kind of misses the mark by leaving in the dumb, you sure message? Yeah, I'm freaking sure. Anyway, I'll take anything in that area. This is a great improvement. So that's the big patch that's coming around June 2nd, I'd say. Console players get it the same day this time. Aren't you guys happy to finally be included? You may ask yourself what those surveys are about, but remember, they are only a few months old at this point, so we're not going to see the results of the gameplay improvements we asked for just yet. It's very nice to see quality of life improvements like the inventory upgrade. Now I will head off to work on this eco lifestyle video. Thanks for watching and hit that bell thing if you want to know when I do that. I'll be a bit late, but I'll try to give you a good rundown. I mean, it doesn't come out for two weeks.